Welcome back, awesome action toy fans and subscribers. I've got more of these uh, Shodu uh, box kits. Now, it looks like there's four. It's actually, it's two because you need both boxes to complete these. Uh, there's quite, there's about five or six different figures in this series, but these two really spoke to me the most. Now, I'll show you my least favorite of the two first. This is this, uh, I guess, Mantis, praying Mantis sort of looking man those weapons there and that sort of insect hat does look pretty cool the body is in this one and they had the sort of hand weapons or whatever and the uh base and head are in this one here these are very very cool kits you've not seen any or if you've not had any show do stuff before they are highly recommended by um i think it's bandai that could be telling you lies there i can't really see um, but they are really, oh, T-O-E-I is the uh, production company for the TV show. I think these are Carmen Rider, here we go, Bandai, these are from 2020, so these are a little bit on the older side. Um, looks really good, but my favourite one, I've only, I wanted to get loads of these, because these, I think it just looks fantastic, look at this. That will work for fantasy and sci-fi, and he's got the, oh, it just looks so good. And I think it looks like he might have, is that a wing or just something sticking out? Or just something sticking out, but he looks so good, man. That black and yellow works together so well. Now, these are kits and they take a little time to put together, not long. So I am really looking forward to this. Again, it's Bandai 2020. If it is good, I will try and find some more of this one in particular, because I just think it looks fantastic. Imagine an army of those look amazing. Shame it's not proper, proper wings. I could get some wings to get on the back. I can pick up loose Boss Fight Studio wings here. But that's an extra cost again. Very, very cool looking. Um, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to switch to a time lapse and open these up and build these. And you guys can get to see that process. And then we'll look at them when they're finished. Look at their articulation, their size, uh, comparison of the figures and the usual, as you guys would expect from this channel if you've not done so already please consider joining the patreon link in the top right we still have uh joy toy prizes to be won in our weekly prize draw so it is worth joining us even if only for just one month oh guy okay guys i'll be back in a second and uh let's look at this build process Okay, here they are. 
took a little time to build because I was putting some of the stickers on and some of my, some of my excitement sort of uh, evaporated, dissipated now because I can't stand doing stickers on toys. Uh, as a kid, it was pretty great. But then, you know, in uh, my advanced age, you know, approaching my the end of my 50th year next year, um, I don't like the stickers. I'd rather have paint apps. Stickers, messy. You don't get them straight. You've got to peel them off, put them back on again, blah, blah, blah. Having said that, the guy in yellow, my favourite one, the stickers do actually work quite well. But that is something I will be looking to do paint apps on in the future. So let's look at the uh, sort of Mantis guy first. Really quite disappointed with him. He looks far better in the box than he does in, in reality. Not put, the only stickers I've put on really, as you can see, are on his little uh, blade things here. Which kind of work well, but I've got better colours for that. I've got um, these really good metallic green pens for plastic and i've used them on the uh gray frog number 57 kits before i'll stick a link in the top right for you on the the ones i did painted you can see there's difference from the original um the head is bigger than i would like as well but has some possibilities but the basic body's the same it's a pretty decent body it's got some uh, good articulation we'll look at that in a moment because articulation is going to be essentially the same on both but it looks pretty cool now the reason that i actually got these and, and i definitely will be looking for more is this sort of insect guy here obviously an insect again legs are different you can see he's got those parts coming out stickers are applied to the chest they don't look too bad to be fair but how long will they look nice for i'd rather get a nice bright spray yellow to do on that very effective looking this will work for fantasy and obviously it'll work for sci-fi now the wings tiny and only stickers on um one side for the wings which is a bit of a shame so it's like yeah not great there are other stickers for them which i've not applied yet but i'll be looking at maybe doing that or maybe not and then looking for some nice spray yellow paints to paint him but he does look really good that um the stickers do make a big difference on the chest has to be said but and a proper yellow spray and a little bit of inking and highlighting. That'll look really quite good. He is a nice looking. Can you imagine an army of these drones? It would be fantastic. Especially if you've got the Boss Fight Studios. The, um, is it the, yeah, the Fae, the fairy ones that are, that are these sort of beetle-like. I've forgotten their real names. Again, link in the top right. These will look work great with drones for them. Okay, let's look at articulation. So, head is a left, right. There is a side to side. There is an up and down. Shoulders will go all the way around, but he's got to watch out for his wings. You see the shoulder armor is articulated, so he can go up, but he only stops regardless at flat. Let me just check the, uh, I call him the mantis guy, though he's got that big head in there. Let me turn his head. His arms also stop at flat. Okay, so even though they have the possibility to go up further because the arm is articulated, the arms stop at flat. I think he's got something for his shoulders somewhere, one of these stickers possibly. Um, he has a bicep turn. It goes to about 90 degrees. There is a bicep swivel and the hands should just turn because they have just a plug-in pin. There's no articulation other than the turn on the hands. The weapon, you just hold it like this. It's a bit strange, but it kind of works. They both come with spare hands, which are these matching open hands. Waist is a turn. His hips won't be the best because of these uh, things on them, but he can go quite far, which is better than I was expecting. Forwards is all right. Backwards is about there before it starts turning out. Uh, there is a thigh swivel. There is a knee bend single, but over 90 degrees. And the foot is on the ball, so he gets side to side. He can turn. He gets small tippy-toe dorsiflexation. The, so the um, articulation on these is actually really good, particularly for the price point. In fact, they've got better articulation than some more expensive figures in this scale. But the articulation can be limited, even though they might have more points in certain places. But they are I really like him. I mean, that head is just fantastic. Now, if we look at the head, you could, in theory, match it up with another figure. I've got a little hole coming out, I didn't realise that. You could match him up to another, sorry, to another figure, because that would fit with some of your other 
figures sort of barbell joints. I think it might be a bit stiff, but it'd be close. You could probably customize it, but if it just was, if it was a straight fit, that would be awesome. Very, very cool. Let's get an idea of size, and I'll have a look at those heads again in a second. Oops, let's get them standing up. So obviously this uh, green guy with his massive head is going to be taller. Let's get my tape measure in CMs. He's standing up, he's not standing up straight, he's standing up straight. There we go. Okay, so. My favourite guy is well over 10. He's on the way to... 11 and a bit up to the top of his head excluding antenna this guy's around about 12 more with antenna again so if i get my uh boss fight not my boss fight my boss what am i saying boss fight for <laughs> my fortnite custom knight who i will finish eventually just needs to really dye him and paint him get an idea of scale they are bigger they do scale fantastically well really really good if I get my uh, Nurinu Sentinel Acid Rain World, one of my uh, favourite figures. And you see they are bigger than him too. And lastly, I'll get a Body One Joy Toy Invictor Warsuit Pilot. Who's going to be shooting them? Let's get his uh, height. And he is bigger and bulkier, as you would expect. I do want to get more of him. I reckon he'll make such a fantastic swarm figure. Need some spray white paint, spray yellow paint, and yeah, and a bit of inking and dry brushing, and you've going to have a fantastic looking figure there. Great job. These are really nice looking figures. I do like them a lot. Um, I won't get any more of the Green Mantis guy. A bit disappointed that head just seems near... But this guy here, for me, is fantastic. I think he's just so good. Really, really nice looking figure. And of course, the other thing you get with them, which you may have seen, is you get an action base, which plugs into their back or into their waist, and you can pose them for jumping stuff, flying stuff, whatever. Longer wings. So, you see, the wings just plugging here. But it's only one hole, not two holes like in your Boss Fight Studios. So... Would have to think about that, and I think I might have some stickers for his back. No, they don't work in his back, that's got to be for his shoulders. Doesn't tell you where those ones go, but I could figure that out. Um, no, uh, maybe he's just such a good looking figure. That head sculpt is fantastic, and you can put a nice sort of black line in the groove in the eyes, just something with the teeth. See, the sticker's already coming off there. And you'll get a very, very nice looking uh, figure. Looks like a bad guy, obviously. But obviously, in your own universe, just do whatever you want. So, um, Wings. Shame it's just a single hole. But you could replace them in theory. And do something else there if you wanted to. Let's get that back on again. There we go. One very good figure, one figure which I'm not so keen on, but I've got a good base body I can use for customs or something else if I want, nonetheless. Okay, so awesome action toys signing out, saying please consider joining the Patreon, uh, like and share this video if you want, and subscribe to this channel, click on the notification bell icon so you don't miss out on any future releases as they are published, as they are released. I'll see you in the next one, stay happy, keep collecting, bye bye.